There was a meet and greet yesterday. Met one of my fans, Dale, with Carl Five. There was a question that was asked. That question was, does an artist need to go to school or not? I think the answer is, the artist needs to do one of two things if they want to be successful. Um, I am not a successful artist. I am not, but I do know what success is. The first thing is going to school and doing the fundamentals. The fundamentals will teach you the basics. And once you're at that fundamental basics of what everybody else knows, you can either stop right there and just go ahead and just do your own thing, or you can continue on with your education. That's one way of doing it. At least do the fundamentals as an artist. Um, the other one is like Basquiat. Basquiat did not go to art school. He was um, a highly loved um, artist who um, drew and, and, and painted from his heart on all kinds of materials. Um, here's a picture of me in art school. And I am learning stuff while I'm there. And I'm doing stuff while I'm there. I got a chance to meet people from, from all over the world, which was really, really nice because people from all over the world came to these schools. And that's an experience that I can, I, I, I feel is a part of me, being able to sit down and converse with these people. Basquiat had a mentor. A mentor is a person who can basically get your skill level, whatever it is, and help push you through um, learning skipping the the fundamentals and basically elevating you because the mentor is already a professional who's doing the thing the artistic thing and that's that's the way that is it i mean i, I think that is the best way to to become an artist um and i think every artist needs to do that there are some folk artists that don't do that but those folk artists are limited to where they are because they're never going to expand their horizon unless they start getting other people and other artists from around them in a community. And you see that sometimes. Um, basically, it's like self-mentoring um, through your your um, the people that you hang out with. That can be great. That can definitely be great. But um, it doesn't expand you as much as having an actual mentor or an actual um um, foundation and I think the best way to illustrate this is me I'm looking over at my Xbox here um, the best way to illustrate that is to see two drawings that I did and I was gonna redo this drawing the drawing is called fruit of death the first one that you see right here this is the original that I just sketched out one day I was just like messing around I just sketched it out now that is nice. That's cute. I mean, I, I love it. But then, um, I think in two, the year 2000, I was in Atlanta. I had just gone through some more fundamental classes. But I was starting to get more into um, really pushing the limits of how I actually do line thickness and contour lying. Lining. 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 Lines. Contour lines. And that reminded me of a TikTok that I recently saw. There was a lady who didn't know that ink pens come in different sizes. She was like, oh, I didn't know it came in a point, a point three. And she didn't know because she didn't go to art school. She didn't go to um, a mechanical drawing class or anything like that. So she didn't know that the repeatograph existed. This has multiple pens. This is a professional tool here. It's the actual pen. And each one of these here is a different needle size. This is actually how you um, get the ink from here, you put it in this guy over here, actually the smaller part right there, and you make you make it work. It's, it's, a, it's a pen that you have to load yourself, which is really, really cool, but at the end of the day, you have to clean it. If you don't clean it, and you know, if you don't know how to clean it, you will screw this up, and it's expensive pens that it's messed up. You'll learn this in foundation class. You, you won't learn this as a folk artist who's just going out there and doing their own thing. You're not gonna learn that with this here. Um, so here is the 2000 version of that same drawing. And I'm gonna zoom in and you can see that I have learned a lot since the original and I have 
put in some really good fine contour lines here and there and really detail this here. This is still on tissue paper. This is not, um, you know, um, museum level artwork, but there's a giant difference between the first one and the redrawn version of it. I almost redrew the redrawn until I saw the word redrawn or redone or something on there. And that was my signal to, to remind me, future me, hey, this is the second version of this here. This is not the first time. So I just rambled. I just did a story time. And you just saw two of my drawings and an old picture of me um, in art school. I look skinny because I was hungry. And it's the end of this video.